Hey viewers, we're gonna make a little side trip right at the beginning of this video before I forget. Bakery. I could have got this as soon as I got the bombs, but forgot that this is where I got it. I thought I got it later. Uh, let me see. You want to go down? No, take me down! Curse you, platform. The Guardians protect something else. In those places lie wedges. Eight wedges which can give form to a soul. Alright, buddy. Can't believe I got that right. First try. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to whip you. Don't fire arrows at me. <laughs> A bracelet. Handy! So what does the bracelet do, viewers? We can now destroy pots in one hit. Now that we really have no reason to, we can do it. And only one item remains, viewers, and I know what it is. Oh ho ho. Wouldn't you like to know what it is? Well, I could tell you, but I won't. I'm gonna save after that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um one second. Oh viewers. I forgot something else. <sighs> Went right by it twice. Even made a kind of crap attempt to look for it. Wasn't coming across it, so I didn't think it was there. The trip getting it should be quicker than other trips we've taken to this area, so. By the way, did some research, briefly. Um, kind of accidental research. Passive research. That's how I like to do things. I don't look it up specifically, but I come across it. Um, that little scale roulette thingy in the mausoleum of giants that was reading the number 062 that is Lamez's weight in kilograms. It's a scale. Which puts him, if my crappy system of conversions is correct, right around 130 pounds. Roughly. I said I... All I know for sure about kilograms is they're almost two pounds. Almost. It's like 0.9 five kilograms is a pound or something, I don't know. Two unicorns right next to that dude have the glowy eyes of yours. So what is this one? 
wonder why they don't all have the glowy eyes. Here it is. Can you guess what you need to open it? The pistol. Final sub weapon of the game. Now we're gonna warp back. Because we don't need to go this way. Ammo for the pistol. Crazy expensive. There's one shop that will sell it for 400. You only get six bullets. You cannot find them. You have to buy them. And you need them to find a couple of ROMs. Um, or you could use them to defeat a boss or two if you want. So, um, now that I've done that, I forget what I was supposed to <laughs> really be doing. Just a second. Well, viewers, I know what I need to do. Just figuring it out is tricky. Peaches are rising from a Momonoki tree. Momonoki tree. Amazing peach colored socks. Oh, it was only a dream. I don't think Zelpeta has anything interesting to tell us. This curse is awful. After all, it's an iron pipe sticking out from the crotch. Those trilobites are surprising, too. Ten years. What happened to the penguin cameos? Damn you, Nintendo. Uh, we've we've lost Zelput viewers. Well, we're going to get us some bullets. <coughs> Real quick like. Uh, actually, actually, extra quick like, because now we can kill skeletons and pots in one hit. What was the extra gold combo? Maze of Gallius. Seal of El Giza. So it looks like I have 424. 35. That one extra, I mean, for now is not really going to make a big difference, but, you know. Ooh. Was that worth two? I couldn't tell. Like I said, my frame counter is right there. I would move it, but then I would have to move it for other games, because it's most out of the way in other games right there. So, what I, what I need to be doing, viewers, is I need to find the fourth sage. We've talked to three of them. I can't get to the fourth one, because I can't can remember how to get to the area in which he lives. I thought just defeating the first seven guardians would let me do that, but apparently I was wrong. That's all right. in that one, though. Just two more. There's one more below me. This is Shurkins. I'm going to get it. <coughs> okay, there's money in that one. Well, I know there's money in that one. Damn it. No! 
I'm gonna do some money grinding when we're all done here, viewers. That's ammunition! Thank you! Using it gives us six bullets. That's it. There's a ROM up here I said we, we couldn't get yet. See, now I'm all interested in getting this filled out. That's bad for us viewers. Why do I not have that one? That's one I should have. I'm guessing that's another one that I probably picked up and then died afterwards. Or maybe I didn't. There it is. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. Ouch. <coughs> okay. You know what? There's goodies here. I'm gonna grab them. time-wise. I still got a few minutes. Um, crap. crap, viewers. Alright, viewers. We're gonna... try something, I think. What I'm looking at may be incorrect, because I've been to this other area a couple times and it's not happening. So we're going to see what happens when we go this way. Damn you. Damn you a second time. is, viewers, the Dimensional Corridor. This is the front side of the Endless Corridor. This place is horrible. That is the only way out. 
The way we came is the only way in. Jump up the missile. That guy? Pain in the ass. Now, you're probably saying, Jason, you're an idiot. This can't be the front side. We've already been to the front side. Plus, look at the bats. Look at the other enemies. Well, I know viewers. I know. But I promise. A grail point. Let's read it. This is the Dimensional Corridor, an isolated place created by Tiamat. Make praise. The bright sun shines into day. The dark moon will then vanish. Push from the celestial wall forever. There's a gimmick to this area, viewers. And that gimmick is sub-bosses. Lots and lots of sub bosses. There are a couple of ROMs here. Let me get my map. <coughs> Headed to this one. Can't go that way. So down we go. Yeah, it's a picture. It's a pretty picture. It's another picture. It's also pretty. more money to buy more bullets, viewers. I wish you only took one hit to kill. <coughs> Watch out, viewers. It's the knight from Dragon Warrior. And a Gradius 2 round. Catherine. Oh, look at that. All right. Let's cross that off the list before I forget. Way to ruin the tension, Jason. Way to ruin the tension. Okay. Weep. I can kill you one hit now. The red guys breathe fire. Blue guys, as you see, shoot random lasers. Neither of which are fun. Damn. I'll take that. Um, let's see. Hitting this way. Got these weird crab thingies. I think they just. Another sub boss, a goat that shoots giant blue death orbs. A winged goat. Go away, death orbs. Damn, for a long time. Let's see what's in here. It's the fourth sage. Welcome, chosen one. I am Phobos. 
one of the four sages, the Sage of Life. The mother's power is the power to create life. In ages past, others attempted to create life as well. Tiamat, Nuwa, neither could compare to the mother. Well, Nuwa is dead now. With the medicine of life, one can attain the power of the mother. Oops. The pure-hearted, mischievous fairy has been entrusted with this medicine. Seek her out. When thou findest her, cast birth, the spell of life, upon her. Cast death, the spell of death, on the false fairies that would lead thee astray. If thou attainest the wrong medicine, return here. Without the correct medicine, thou cannot attain the power of the mother. And down we go. <coughs> Light the three fires. The fire will be deceived by the number of lives of the eleven. The fire will be decided. I don't know where that came from. Not very good. Okay, was it in this screen? No, the next screen. The ROM in here somewhere, viewers. Damn it. It's like, how can we make the bats even more annoying? I know, let's make them shoot lasers. I hate that guy so much. I'm just hoping to kill something. That's our last... Punk jewel too, by the way, viewers. There we go. King's Valley disc. Alright, there's only one left in this area. Which means I should have... I haven't got that one yet, because I don't have enough ammo. And those two areas... One, two, three, four. Let me grab that one. That's going to be easy to do there. Yep, we're good. Alright, our next ROM comes from a kind of a, a tricky little bit of tricky. Alright, this is when I really, really want this ROM combination. We've seen something very similar to this thing in the background here before. In the, uh, Mausoleum of the Giants. I believe it was. Is it this one? What could that be, viewers? I see three thingies up the top there. Oh, there's one. I don't quite understand that boss, um, but you know. <coughs> Coincidentally, this should be where our last life gem is. 
Those guys should have came back. Yeah, I don't even think I need those. Ooh, look at that. It's a thingy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven of these. We have lit up one, two, three, four, five, six of them. This ROM combination was made for this area of yours. Split up six. Back over this way. Because I want what's in here. That didn't do it. This is another one of those puzzles that you do it the way you're supposed to do it, and it just doesn't make sense. You're supposed to kill all of them, go kill a sub-boss, come back and kill, kill them again. I don't think the order matters, but it might. I don't know. <coughs> so let's go up. Now, while that, you know, seems like the right thing to do, now you can't get up there. And that's sad, viewers. Don't climb the ladder. Jump. Okay, now there, there's another one. But I'm pretty sure that blue guy was not one of the mini-bosses, because I don't think one of these lit up after killing him. Well, maybe. Makes those lasers extra crappy. They slow down. Okay, this one. Um, no shops here, by the way. Oh, you know what? I goof yours. I wasn't supposed to kill that guy yet. Um, hell. I goofed. That's bad news. Alright. So I didn't end up with the bullets. Um, that's alright. It's okay. Nothing happened that I can't make unhappen. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna head back over there. Just real quick... I'm gonna show you why we want that dragon guy to hang around. There's not a sub-boss up there, but there is something we want up there. Well, I want it. You guys are probably indifferent to it. That'd 
didn't save. This is one of those missable things. Come on, Lameza. There you go. them makes them go away or if that was just coincidence. Alright, go through this real quick. Because we have to. I don't want to forget. Okay, most of these you're not supposed to be able to read twice anyway. Unless you're dumb like me and screw it up forever. on it does nothing. The pedal on it. Pedal. Put the weight on the pedestal. And then push it. There. That does solve something, viewers, I promise. not screw this up this time. Of course, the next room is equally easy to screw up. Now you know why. I've got to wait for the lamp to back so I can stop it, use that block, jump on it, make my way up over, put a weight on that pedestal, and then down to that chest. Ah, oh, viewers, that's my lamp of time. King Kong 2. And Firebird. Charge quicker. Too bad I can't hang out on that screen while it does. <coughs> so if you kill if you kill the floating platform dragon guy, you can't get back up here. Don't know 
why he didn't come back. That's why I got my shield out ready. Ah, oh, viewers. I will uh, be back when my lamp has refilled. Okay. Might be too high. It spikes. It won't work. Some money in there. All right, we try again, viewers. See you again in a minute. All right, trying again. Stop. I'm actually going to try. I kind of practiced this. And I didn't have the block low enough. So we do it again. Uh, be back in a second. I don't know, viewers. Still waiting. Ha! I made it. I don't have my headphones on. I'm tired of wearing headphones. No! God damn it. Viewers, I want you to know that I'm going to test something. With the ROM combination to make the lamp recharge quicker, it still takes three, three and a half minutes for it to recharge. Every one of my failures, I had to wait. So we'll say four minutes per failure. The video is already nearly 40 minutes long. Had I included all of these, we would probably be getting close to an hour now. So I'm actually, have unequipped that ROM combination and just put two random ROMs in, and I'm going to see how long it takes to recharge this way. Keeping an eye on the clock. Come back and see what's going on. But I'm going to end this video here. And uh, we'll pick up the next one right here. I'm playing a game.